Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and tonight we're going to be breaking down a fragrance from the house of Dolce & Gabbana. This fragrance is known as Light Blue O Intense Pour Home, which came out in 2017. This is classified as a woody aquatic fragrance. This is a flanker of Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. And also in the Light Blue series, there are many other flankers, but we will keep our conversation to the Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue O Intense and a little bit about the original Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. This is a very well done fragrance that it is solid in its scent profile. It is not overly original, but it does the trick and it is an excellent spring summer scent. Like I said, this has many flankers in this series. I feel that if you have the Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue the original, or you have the Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue O Intense, I think you only need one of those. I do not think you need both of them. I would say the Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue O Intense is as close as you're going to get to a true flanker. I would say this scent and the original are both very good and mass appealing. So I'm going to take it out of the box and give it a spray on my wrist and we will examine the scent profile. Here's the bottle, a very nice frosted bottle, good sprayer. So initially you get this very uh, aromatic, fresh, marine salty type of scent, which has some sharpness of citrus. As it starts to dry down, it becomes fairly salty in a seawater uh, type fashion and it's still citrusy. So this is a very linear fragrance. It does not change that much from the initial spray to the final dry down. Later on, maybe two hours later, the profile remains largely aquatic with the fresh, salty, marine vibe to it. So as advertised, the top notes are grapefruit and mandarin orange. The base notes are seawater and juniper and the base notes are musk and amber. Performance for this was average. I got about three to four hours. I think for me, any kind of aquatic or citrus fragrances burn off fairly quickly. And this is something I think you can reapply easily and you're going to have to throughout the day to get a solid eight to ten hours. As for the projection and the scent wafts for about the first hour and a half, two hours, you will get some push. After that, it basically becomes a skin scent. So at that point, you may even have to have a couple sprays to freshen yourself up to get the projection back. Final thoughts on this. This is a very good scent. And as I said earlier, you only need either the intense or the original version, but I do not think you need both. Unless you're a fanatic and a collector. This is definitely a summer spring fragrance. And I think anyone of any age can wear this. It's very appealing. It will not offend others. It is not an overly sexy fragrance, but I do think it could be used as a signature scent. It's very solid, very well wearable, but I would not say it would be groundbreaking in its scent profile. I would give it a thumbs up though. I would recommend people trying it because it's pretty good value. It's not overly expensive. So if you like this video, hit the like button, the subscribe button, the notification bell. Any thoughts, questions, or experiences you have with Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue O Intense or Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue or any flankers in this series, leave them down below and I'll always get back to you. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.